How's it going everybody? Landon with Late Model Restoration. This video will cover my quick overview in it and install on this trunk release button kit from Starkey Products, fitting all 2005 to 2009 Mustangs. If you own a 2005 to 2009 Mustang, then you are more than likely familiar with the frustration of not having a trunk release button inside of the car. Ford remembered to put it on the key fob, but somehow throughout the 2005 to 2009 model years, they totally forgot to put a button inside of the car. Beats me. If you're wanting to add the convenience of a trunk release button inside of, the, of your car, then you should definitely consider this kit from Starkey Products. It features a seamless integration into the center console for easy access and a factory light fit and finish. The faceplate is textured plastic to mimic the factory inner console trim and also has an easily identifiable red push button that triggers the trunk release mechanism. There is no drilling or cutting required and installation can be done in literally no time at all. You will need a little bit of knowledge pertaining to electrical systems, especially if you own a 2007 or an early 2008 model Mustang. In rare instances, Ford altered the wire colors for some 2007 and early 08 models. Unfortunately, this is something you won't know until you begin the install on this kit. The good news though, it's very easy to determine the correct wire color that needs to be spliced with the supplied scotch lock. To begin, go ahead and disconnect the negative battery cable. Inside of the car, open the center console and locate the two rear Phillips head screws. Remove these screws and set them aside. If you own a manual Mustang, unscrew and remove the shift knob. Now pry up on the bezel if you have an automatic car or the shift boot if you have a manual car. And then set these components aside. Pull the emergency brake handle up as far as reasonably possible in order to have enough clearance to remove the center console from the car. Carefully lift up on the console to release all the clips holding it down. Then manipulate the console out of the car and set it aside. Inside of the center console, remove the emergency brake access cover with a small plastic pry tool or a screwdriver wrapped in a microfiber towel. Take the provided cover with push button and route the wires through the hole. You can go ahead and snap the cover into place. Locate the green and black wires running underneath the cup holder area. These wires plug into the 12 volt power supply located in the center console. Using the supplied blue scotch lock, slide the black wire into the scotch lock. This should sit in the middle of the two teeth. Carefully squeeze down on the wire tap and make sure it snaps closed. If necessary, use a pair of pliers to squeeze the scotch lock closed. Plug the black wire running from the button wiring into the back of the blue scotch lock. Route the red wire down the passenger side of the center console until you reach the shifter. Remove the trim panel just to the right of the radio. To do this, gently pull the panel straight out. Now route the red wire toward the glove box. You can go ahead and reinstall the trim panel piece you just removed. Go ahead and carefully pry up on the scuff plate so you can pull back the carpet. Locate the bundle of wires and trim back some of the electrical tape. Before continuing, I want to make note of a few things. Over time, colors can bleed together making the wires hard to differentiate from each other. Also, depending on the features of your car, there may be two wires of the same color. If this happens, make a mental note to yourself that you will always be tapping into the smaller of the two wires, which is usually 22 gauge. Using the supplied red scotch lock, slide the thin white wire with pink stripe into the scotch lock. Squeeze down on the scotch lock, making sure it snaps closed. A pair of pliers may be needed to do this. Like I stated previously, Ford buried the wire color on 2007 and early 08 models. If the white with pink strap wire is not there, try and locate the orange wire with pink stripe. If that color combination is not there either, a few extra steps are going to be needed. Remove the passenger side kick panel and then unbolt the smart junction box. Bring it down so it's accessible and then locate the C2280C connector. Disconnect this connector from the smart junction box and depin the harness. Go ahead and locate pin 21. In our case, for this 2007 model, it's an off-white wire with a pink stripe. This is the wire color that is needed for 2007 and early 08 models that don't have the white with pink stripe wire or the orange with pink stripe wire. Use the provided scotch lock to tap the correct wire from pin number 21. Then plug the red wire from the trunk release button into the scotch lock. Now go ahead and repin the C2280C connector Plug it back in the smart junction box and then reconnect the negative battery cable. Take this time to test for operation. Go ahead and take this time to reposition your smart junction box back into place and retighten the retaining nut. Once that is complete, make sure and position the red wire away 
from the glove box assembly. Position the red wire behind the kick panel so it is out of view. Take this time to zip tie the red wire out of the way and secure any remaining wires together. Use a few more zip ties for the wires in the middle console and near the emergency brake assembly. Go ahead and reassemble your interior components in reverse order. Double check your work and you're all finished. For the most part guys, this is very straightforward but can require a few extra steps Again, if you have a 2007 or early 2008 model Mustang, all in all set aside about 30 minutes to an hour of your time to get this one knocked out. Regardless, this trunk release kit is the perfect addition to every 2005 to 2009 S197 Mustang. To see more great products for your S197 Mustang, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. While you're at it, go ahead and pick up this trunk release button kit for your 2005 to 2009 Mustang from the real Mustang enthusiasts, LMR.com.